Um, I saw a very disturbing video a couple of days ago. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a video and then I'm going to give you my commentary and maybe you guys can uh, give me some feedback on this video. I want to give a shout out to my kids, Real Daddy. Thank you, government, for putting me on. I mean, you was the definition of a real father. Because when your kids is hungry, they have food stamps. Yeah, we shop at Walmart. Yeah, we shop at Publix. We shop at Winn-Dixie. When your kids need shelter, yes, you have housing. And you also have Section 8 for a lot of us. And when our kids fall, get hurt, or sick, they have Medicaid. Yes, we go to the ER, we go to the walk-in clinic, and we also can make a doctor appointment I get their prescriptions with no hesitation now that's not a definition of a real father making sure your kids have food shelter and health care I don't know what it is so like I said thank you government for being my kids daddy and thank you for putting me on now the reason I wanted to talk about this video is because this is the type of shit that keeps me up at night and, you know, I don't know about you guys out there, but sometimes sitting back and thinking about the generation that's coming up behind my generation or the generation after that, or having to really think about how you're going to, going to explain to your children about some of the adversities that they're going to have to come across being that they're black in America, not just from white people, but from people within their own community. And this is the type of stuff that, you know, you really shake your head at and you, you ask yourself, like, you know, what happened? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if you guys saw that video. It was a couple of months ago where the mom had videotaped her daughter and was basically following her to every class at her school because she was misbehaving in class. And, you know, a lot of brothers came out here, brothers and sisters, but I, I would say especially brothers. Because, you know, we're pretty much the only ones talking about certain issues out here that really need to be talking about. And that's why I encourage a lot of black women to really start coming out here and speaking on things. Not just about makeup, the new outfit you got, or how you're going to put your hair today. But that's another video. But a lot of guys and a lot of people did a video on um, this woman. They were commending her like, yo, you know, she's being a good mother. Um, you know, even though this might be embarrassing to her child, she's setting a good example and she is being a great parent. And I believe this is the same woman. I could be wrong, but I'm a good 85% sure this is the same woman. And when I first saw the video, I didn't, you know, even though I felt like it was ignorant, I didn't react full force towards it because I sat back and I watched it and I said, okay, well, maybe she's doing this video to um, basically put her children's father on blast you know basically um honoring the government for being a father that her baby her kid's father is not being in his child's life so i sat back and i said well maybe that's it maybe you know it's kind of an indirect this but when i looked at it some more i was like you know either way whether she's trying to put her her children's father on blast it was tacky. This is not the way you go about doing certain things because we have people out here who look at the black community and they judge us off of things like this. And what happens is that she becomes the face of a lot of black women out here because people sit back and they, they really analyze and they take negative things that come out of the black community and equate that to all of us. You rarely hear people out here talking about some of the positive things or you know how black people are by far some of the strongest people on earth mentally and physically considering all the things that we have to endure during the course of a day. But it was tacky no matter how you flip it or turn the situation and I think that whether she was coming out here and being ignorant and really kissing the government's ass, you know, forgetting or, or maybe because of lack of knowledge and understanding that the government is the same people who are keeping you as a permanent underclass and don't want to see you succeed. They want you to come out here and thank them and, you know, kiss the ground they walk on or basically uh, depend on government assistance. They want you to have that type of mindset. They don't want people in the black community controlling their dollar. And building businesses and employing our own people and getting out of our current situation. They don't want that. So when you come out here and you make videos whether you were upset about 
your uh, children's father not stepping up or you really are out here, you know, basically honoring and kissing the government's ass. You're feeding into a lot of negative stereotypes that we try to fight day in and day out in this country as black people. So, I mean, I just thought it was it was out of line. It was tacky. And I think this woman really needs to sit back and watch her words and watch some of the things she does and really analyze and, and learn that the government is not here to help you. You know, for, for those who need government assistance because you're having a hard time, you know, I understand we live in a tough economy right now. It's hard for people to find work. Even if you have a job, you still got your head barely above water. So I understand that. But to go around and, and, and honor the government or basically depend on the government and, and not have self-ambition or to play into negative stereotypes i think that's wrong i think you know you really need to check yourself on that but you know <laughs> this video was just it was crazy but you guys give me your feedback if you want and you know uh <laughs> this is where we going man you know and, and people really have to understand the conditions around them and really watch what they say and what they do because everything you do is a representation of the black community and it's sad that one or two people represent us all. You know, can go out here whether you're in the um, the the public eye or you're on TV or whatever. It's sad that people equate certain negative people within our community that say certain negative things and equate that to all of us. But that's the way it is. That's that's some of the things that black people deal with in this country that we're not always allowed to be looked at as an individual. But that's all I have to say about it. I'm out.